Hi there and welcome to photographyquestions.com. My name is Will and today I'm going to talk to you for 5 to 10 minutes about adding keywords and metadata to your images in Adobe Lightroom. So to begin I have here uh, some images I've already imported and uh, we'll begin to add some keywords by going over to the right hand side here under your library section and going to the drop down menu. Now keywords can be added uh, in a few different ways. Um, to begin you can add keywords individually so let's just select these three images here all have birds in them so we'll add the word bird okay you can also add keywords by using these two drop down menus here so for example keyword suggestions these are ones you might previously have used uh, which is also under recent keywords so wildlife for example if I add this one in here you'll see it will disappear from suggestions here and it will be highlighted in the keyword set down here that means it's it's in your image now uh, so we don't have to worry about that one anymore um, move on to these ones here we'll select all of these they're all landscapes so we can add that in there added landscape uh, this was around fall or autumn so we can click that in there we can also add that in there as well. Now that will add that word to your recent keyword set. You can also edit sets here. So you can create a custom set, for example. Um, and you can you can save that as a new preset. So let's just say for example. Autumn landscape and now that will come up under this section here so if I go to outdoor it gives me a few different options uh, portrait will give me different options again and so on you can create as many of these as you like um, you can save all your current settings as a new preset we can restore default presets um, so it's a good idea if you're putting your images online um, onto Facebook, social media, onto some kind of image library like uh, Flickr, or if, uh, especially if you're looking at doing uh, some images for stock photography websites, trying to earn a little more money that way. Um, keywording is very important for potential buyers to find your images. Um, so you want to think about anything that's that's possibly relevant. Um, to the image like uh, you know the type of bird for example um, sparrow uh, this one's a wax eye um, perhaps even colors green background you can go on and on and, and add as many different keywords as, as you deem necessary um, to help with that, with with people locating your images. So moving on, as so we close this down here, this here is a keyword list. Again, this sort of contains a lot of recent uh, keywords that may have been used. And you'll you'll notice if I mouse over, say, bird for example, it will highlight these three images with a little white border, and that's to show that those that particular word is, is located in that image already. If we mouse over this one here, for example, we'll find that uh, landscape is already on the other five images there. Now these ones here are selected because this particular image here is selected. If I move over one to landscape, it's got different ones ticked here. Now, uh, for example, I can I can go in and click any one of these. Um, this one for example and that will add that keyword to that particular image and again you can do this to multiple images um, let's just say I'll add wildlife to this one for example and now all of those four images have wildlife in their caption or in their keyword you can also filter keywords up here for example 
and that will help you find uh, find a particular keyword if you have quite a quite a lot down here. Moving on to metadata. Now this one here contains all the meat of your uh, your images information. So things like copyright, uh, who took the image, uh, where it was taken, any caption description that you might want to add to that. So very important stuff. Now things like uh, copyright and photographer, um, you know, you'll probably want to put that across all your images. So easiest thing to do is select them all, and you can add that all at the same time. Um, you know, if you haven't selected this, don't show again. This will pop up, just letting you know that the change will be applied to all the selected photos. I'm just going to click that so it doesn't come up again. Apply to selected, and that will apply to them all. You can change copyright status here. Creator, caption description is handy if you're uploading your images to, again, Facebook or any form of social media. Um, what you could probably do is try this yourself. You could uh, take one of your images that um, may be of, uh, of yourself or family member or friend that you're going to upload to Facebook. Just before you do it, add a caption in here. And see what happens when you upload that uh, image to Facebook. What you'll find is that that caption will automatically be um, be entered into the little description when you upload that to Facebook. So again, it's a it's a neat little thing to do to help protect your images. Um, you know, you can also add in here um, a date, for example, if you wanted to, and um, also photo copyright. something like that. Uh, it's just adding a little bit of protection to your images when you um, put these online. Um, you can also, in this particular metadata section of Lightroom, you can actually change the file names here if you want to. Um, it will show you what folder this is from. It will tell you whether the metadata has been changed or not. Down here you can give it a rating. Now these ratings are handy uh, just to help sort your images, so let's say for example I like this image more than these two, I can give this a 5 star rating, and I'll give these a 3 star rating. If we are looking through our images later on, we can go up here and we can filter based on rating, so filter based on a 3 star rating, it will give you everything 3 stars and higher. 5 star rating, of course we only have one 5 star, so it only gives us the one image. It helps to identify your most favourite images if you're trying to find ones that you're uh, wanting to work on. You can of course change all the rating parameters in there as well. And just click on that to go back to your normal view. Moving on we can um, add labels to these as well. So you can add camera labels, date labels, I don't tend to worry about that too much. And uh, just a quick note, all these little uh, tabs up here are available just by clicking or clicking to remove. And again, you can select fields up here to search by containing different words just to help you find a particular image. So let's say bird for example, and it will give us those three. Moving down, you can, uh, it gives you all the information here, here as well. Capture time, date, dimensions, uh, whether it's been cropped, the exposure, all that, all that sort of stuff as well. Um, GPS if your image is geotagged. Uh, but that's sort of generally the basic information that I would I would add, you know, create a copyright status, copyright, just to help protect your images, like I said earlier. Um, yeah, handy stuff to, to know and to have um, when you put your images online. As I've touched on in a previous, uh, previous image, it's good to 
also save your images for web use as opposed to um, print and uh, this will help uh, protect your images um, because they are quite frequently stolen by people who might not necessarily know that uh, the image is copyrighted and belongs to somebody. Um, a lot of uh, people these days think that any image online is, is there for the taking, uh, which simply is not the case. But you also, as a photographer, have to take precautions to um, you know limit that. So anyway, that's a, a quick uh, overview of keywording, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do like Lightroom, and uh, you're thinking about purchasing it, um, you know, and you wanted to help me out at the same time, you can go to photographyquestions.com forward slash resources, and uh, there's an affiliate link there you can click on. And uh, I do thank you in advance if you do this. So uh, that's it for now. Stay tuned for some more videos, and uh, we'll catch you soon. Cheers.